You're a murderer. <laughs> Tony, you know, I've had an idea about this scene. You made me sound so poetic. <laughs> So, on the back of these biscuits, there's something about Mary and George. Yes, so let's find out what the biscuits want to know. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to go for this guy. Oh, yeah? And this says... God, everybody thinks I'm blind. It's the weirdest thing you learnt in the preparation for the show. Well, I learnt some quite weird things. I mean, I learnt some French. I learnt the viola de gamba, which is kind of a, a sort of period cello. I wouldn't say you learned it, but okay. anyway. <laughs> just, oh, that was cruel, wasn't I just, it? That was cruel. Fifty people watching no, me no, scratch you... away, <laughs> and Tony going, the whole you world are... should hear you play. <laughs> He's an absolute aficionado. Uh -huh. That was not easy to do, and you accomplished awkward. it very well. Thank you. There was a bit well. of French, a yeah, bit of Latin, yeah, yeah. a bit of Greek in this. Oh, yeah, exactly. A lot of dancing, actually. Yeah, there was a bit a of dance one. we both had yeah. to do. The sex scenes. Positions were the sex scenes. I'd never been in an orgy before with five other naked men. Oh, yeah, but You know you what? Go. As soon as you get in, you're... You're in it to bish, win it, you know, bosh. bish, bash, bosh. Yeah. But that was, you, you, you had to do a lot I of that as well. I had, I, yeah, I, well, you were, there was nothing you didn't unturn. There was no stone no, left exactly. unturned with old Georgie boy. It was a very boy. formative experience. Well, I'm going to have this plump looking little, little thing over Oh, here. that's no way to talk about it. Sorry. <laughs> How do you take your tea? Oh, I like an Earl Grey mm. with a dash of milk. Oh, very nice. Very simple. I'm not much of a tea drinker. Oh, you're so not? I'm more of a coffee guy, yeah. Really? Maybe since I've fled the country and gone to the US. The best thing about wearing period costumes, Nick. I mean, you feel very important. You <laughs> walk differently when you're in it, don't you? I mean, no, with those bloody heels on you do, yeah. You have to that's walk true. differently. Yeah. You, you're quite short as well, so you like having an extra I'm quite couple, short. Of, couple of inches. <laughs> How dare you? I'm, no, but I'm 5'11 and a half, almost oh, I, six foot with a heel on. No, what do you like about it? I like the way it kind of immerses you in your character, mm. you know? I mean, there was moments where we'd walk into Hatfield House and there was all the supporting artists and mm. Julie and you, and, and you'd walk in in this outfit. And then at times I'd look up on the, the wall and boom, there's a painting of Mary Queen of Scots yeah. in her attire. And then next to it was a painting of King James. Mm. And then of course I'd forget my first line. It's probably like the most integral part of the character yeah. the process is like once you actually Yeah, it really it. Gets, gets you into it. Tony, what would your last meal be? Like, in, in memento mori yeah, yeah, ever, yeah, yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. You're a goner. Oh my God. I'd have to go with, um, Chicken cutlet parmesan came to mind. That's so boring. It is a bit dull. So you. Is it? Yeah. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Mine would be roast lamb with... Wow. Wait, 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 with, roast? with roast potatoes. Yeah, but Greek style. Why? Are you Greek? No, I'm not. I'm actually Scottish. He's a bit Scottish, a bit <laughs> Greek. Okay. But I'm going to go for a wee Scottish shortbread, oh, shall nice, I? Let's see nice. what this says. You go to Pump Up Song in the hair and makeup trailer. What is your Pump Up Song? <laughs> Try what what music you you were a bit of a DJ was I so, bit yeah. of a diva what's that it's that Rod Stewart song that you loved all right if you think I'm sexy and you want my ball yeah. you come on that one that's that how what you that's go for you looked into the mirror every single day and, and, and screamed that into the mirror is to that, just convince himself I've got a great face for radio as my do. mother that's my mother would say, say. That's, what we, right. that's not just what your mother would say that's what we all say. yeah I used to play a, a band called the Snuts in the morning there's a great uh, album called Millennials, you know, yeah. You just did a, a music video for them. Oh, I did, I? Oh, I did. It's a little bit of self-promotion. <laughs> self-promotion there, okay, yeah. you don't see me talking great. about my other <laughs> projects here, Tony. I'm going to go for... Um, oh, a custard sort of cream. Custard cream. Oh, yes. Do an impression of one another. You're a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's pretty good, actually. In fact, you've n he's never impersonated me on set until <laughs> now. Until now. All right, let's see. Tony, you know, I've had an idea about this scene. I think if you were to just turn around and then we gaze at the stars, I think that could be quite, quite um, powerful. Wow. What are you talking about? That's a rubbish idea. I, you made me sound so poetic. <laughs> That's a man I would follow. I would not hire right any of us if we had to impersonate each other. And I thought mine was spot on, to be really, honest. Really, I think you nailed it. Thank you. Who is the better 
horse rider. Go on, be honest. Be honest, kid. Given my amount of riding in the show, mm -hmm. but you have been on this earth longer, a lot longer oh, than indeed. I have. All right. Um, How you, old? I don't know. So you were in the saddle a lot. You did a lot of riding, yeah, I, I, riding I, in the show, didn't you? I did quite a lot because I'd done some like stunt work before. Um, right. They they trusted me on the saddle. Did you get nice. saddle sores? No. Why no. Is that? Saddle sores if you're in the saddle for too long. No. What he's saying is basically is he's a better rider. He got to ride a horse uh, called it was a Frisian. It was a war horse. My horse was like a little donkey. Do you remember your horse's name? I never remembered my horse's name. You don't remember my name, do <laughs> you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you remember Mick, your horse's Mick. name. Yeah, yeah. No, you my were... horse was Quinton. Yeah, of course. It was and Quinton. Joe. I got tricked. Yeah. I thought I was riding the same horse the entire time, but it was in yeah. fact two different horses. This is Quinton. Is it Joe? So this is actually Joe. Quinton and Joe are very, very similar looking horses. Jammy Dodger. Dammy Georgia. Dammy Georgia. That's a good one. That could be a new biscuit. A Dammy Georgia. Speaking of which, what Ooh. is your favorite biscuit? You know what? comes to mind is a minty Viscount. You know those I've ones? The never, green, the green, no. it's a chocolate biscuit and it's, you bite into it and it's got a minty crispiness to it and a, a Viscount came to mind, so. Sounds delicious. Although I do like a hobnob, Ooh, a dark chocolate hobnob. Basic, what about you? Choice. What about what are those, you? Are, they, are they called like Amarillos basic. or the things that I'm you- I'm short the, and basic. You are short and basic. <laughs> or like the biscotti. Oh I yeah. I really love those. Oh, those are with posh. a bit of coffee. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Well, that's it. The biscuits have spoken. Now go watch Mary and George. <laughs>